how are you all? I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas New Year and all are back safely to watch my videos. <laughs> anyway, I thought I'd give you just a little update on uh, moving the homestead. I've been doing a lot of packing. Uh, I have the big pantry pretty much half packed and I have quite a few boxes already stacked up ready to go. Um, I'm putting it all into big plastic totes because I find um, I like them better than putting them in, in like jars and that into cardboard boxes. I think they'll go much, much better in the big plastic totes. And then I can use the totes uh, for storing like blankets and winter clothes and things like that in, in the new house. So, um, moving date is the 5th of March. So around about that time, excuse me if there's not too many videos that come out because as you can imagine I'm going to be pretty busy. But I will try and get a few extra videos lined up so that I can just put them out to you. Um, I was hoping to get into the new house the 1st of February. Now, when the purchasers of this property originally wanted the place, they wanted the 1st of February. But because of circumstances, we couldn't do it until early March. So they were happy with that, that's fine. And the purchaser, the vendors where I'm going, wanted an earlier settlement so um, but they were happy with March as well they'd already purchased their property and they were already in the processes of moving in when I purchased it so that was all good so just before Christmas I went to the solicitors and asked them if I could move the dates to the 1st of February um, because things had, had come together quite well and I found myself in a position to be able to, be, to move earlier, which was good. But unfortunately now um, the purchasers of this property can't quite make it shut up can't quite make it on the 1st of February anymore, so it's still the 5th of March, which gives me another four weeks to try and get things organised and packed and loaded and everything else um, that needs to be done. There won't be quite so much of a rush, but there's also, you know, that nail-biting stress <laughs> of having to hurry up and wait. <laughs> but anyway, it will come together eventually. So, that's the update at the moment. And, um, yeah, so everything's the 5th of March is moving day. Now, unfortunately, I can't give you a tour of the new place as yet. Not until I actually move in, um, because we cannot get early access to the property until settlement. That's fine. So, unfortunately, we will all have to wait in bated breath. <laughs> So, anyway, let's have a look at 
what I've already done and um, yeah let's have a look well here we are in the lounge room and as you can see there are packing boxes everywhere now would you believe this is from the pantry that's two these are 52 litre boxes and they're too wide and too high and one two three four it's four boxes long these ones here are 30 litre boxes and they are all just from the big pantry. There's all the extra shelving that I made. And let's go and have a look at the pantry and see what it's like at the moment. Right, so here we are at the big pantry. And there's still a fair bit of stuff in here. There's all the canned goods yet to go. So yes, still a lot to go as yet. And I'll be doing some of that this afternoon. At the moment I'm packing up my closet, getting rid of all the uh, winter clothes and long pants and dresses and I'm just leaving out a few things that I'll be basically wash and wearing and that's what I'll have until I move. I've got one good dress out in case I need to go somewhere. Push up, Barney. The moving pile is growing. There's quite a bit there. Still a fair bit to go. This, of course, does not include what's in three sheds around the garden all my pots, my plants and so forth and there's quite a bit more yet to go and of course it doesn't include the storage shed either which is quite full I'll be glad I have three very strong men in the movers to move all this stuff.
There's the nearest tower. Underneath the desk. Underneath the desk? Yep. And there's another one the other side of the heater. It looks like the cord might be long enough. Yep, that'll be plenty. For this one. And I've got another cord with that one over there. That's going to be fine. That's going to be fine? Yep. On the other side of that here. It's actually got a lot of lead on it, which is most unusual. Yeah. Yeah. Normally they only give you like about three or four inches. Yeah. I thought you were going to say me. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, no more camp chairs. <laughs> Sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> Sounds pretty good to me too. <laughs> you can leave these ones up if you want to get in and out of them while they're up. Okay. Just make sure that they're either up fairway yeah. or all the way down. Yep. You don't want to have them all the way up or all the way down. Um, just make sure it's, yeah, it's reached the ground <coughs> to get up or get back in it again. Yep. Okay. Which you'll be able to tell because it sort of wobbles a little bit of the ground. Yep. Like Only because there's a certain part that when it's a little bit up puts a bit of strain on it and over time it'll break. So yep. Okay. Yep. Lovely. Excellent. Where you want them? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Oh, I'll show you how to take the backs off if you if you're gonna move them. Just lift this up on each side, there's one on each side. Yep. And you just pull. Uh, it comes. Sometimes you've got a lever that you screw on with it. Yep. And you, I'll show the removal of step. Beautiful. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you you very too, much. fellas. See you later. Have a good one. Yes, Thank we you. will now. <laughs> and there is my new high lift chair. No more camp chairs.